Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to FTP games onto your jailbroken PS3 via Ethernet cable. Next, I'll be showing you how to burn games to your internal and external hard drives. And last, I'll be showing you how to set up the in-game settings on Multiman so you won't, you won't be getting that black screen when you run certain games. So anyway, so first you want to go ahead and connect the eth uh, Ethernet cable ends onto your computer and PS3. Next, you want to go back to your computer and change the IP address. And by doing so, you go uh, to the bottom right hand corner over here. And this is Windows 7, by the way. And you right click on this icon, go to Open a Network and Sharing Center, uh, change adapter settings, and then right click on Local Area Connection, go to Properties, and then Internet Protocol Version 4, and then Properties. Now on this radio button, click click on it, and then you'll be able to fill in these blanks. So go ahead and, and type in 1, 1, 1, 1, 255, 255, 255, and then 1, 1, 1, and 1, and you're done. So just hit OK and close. Now I'll see you on my PS3. Alright, so we're on my PlayStation 3. Now go all the way to the left and go to settings and then you're going to go down to network settings. And this is where we're going to assign the, um, the IP address. Now go to internet connection settings, hit OK, go to custom, wired connection, auto detect, and then right here you're going to select manual. And then this is what I put on my PlayStation IP address. So just put 1112 and then 255, 255, 255, 0, and then 111, 111, and go ahead and press right on the control pad. OK, 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 and X. And do not test because you're going to you're gonna get success in the IP address but fail on internet connection. So don't even bother. So hit back. And one last thing you want to do is go to um, power safe settings because when you're going to be FTPing, you don't want the system to shut down after being idle for a certain time. So make sure you do this. And you want to say off and off and hit OK. Now you're good to go. So now you're going to go to multi-man, run it. to settings and you see that FTP service is enabled so you're good to go on that also go down to somewhere here oh yeah inactivity timeout disabled screensaver is disabled alright this is what I'm looking for system auto off and you want this to be on disabled so there you go. Now you're good to go. Okay, so I'll see you back on my PC. Okay, so we're back on my desktop. Now go ahead and run FileZilla. And right here next to host, type in the IP address, which is 1.1.1.2. Hit enter. And there you go. Connected to my PS3. Now all games are transferred into the HDD0 uh, games folder. And this is where you drag in all the games for the internal hard drive. But if you want to do it in the external hard drive, it's right here under uh, USB 00. Make sure that there's a games folder in there, and that's where you drag in also the, all your games. But for, um, for this time, we'll do it under games internal. And here's the game that I want to transfer, Bejewel. Now, go ahead and open up your game folder that you have. And if you see this update folder, delete it because it's going to take up space and you don't want that in there. So X and then just drag it over and there you go. OK, 
Okay, so there's another thing I want to point out to you guys is um, large files. Uh, for instance, there's a number of people that try to do this and it won't work. Try to transfer large files onto an external hard drive that is formatted to FAT32. It just won't work. For example, here's my external. It's formatted to FAT32 down here. And um, here I'm going to open it up and try to transfer a file. Now here's The Last of Us, because I know this one has a, a huge file that won't work. And, build and right here, 10 gigabytes. Now if you try to do this, it won't work, it's too large. But a way around this is that if you want to put it onto your PS3 internal or external, you could do it through the FTP. See, I'm putting it into the internal. See, that's a way around it. Or we could do it through the USB right here in games. And there you go, it's doing it. So I just wanted to point that out. All right, so I'll see you on my PlayStation 3 now. All right, to make sure that you have successfully transferred the game, go all the way to um, game and hit refresh and there you go there goes Bejewel so now I'm going to show you how to install or I should actually say burn games onto your internal or external hard drive so go ahead and insert your external hard drive onto the PlayStation and now I'm going to insert the game Okay, now uh, hit square, and then the first option is copy, so go ahead and hit X. Now it should give you two options, either you want to put it in the internal hard drive or the external hard drive, which is the USB. So just like the one you want, and there you go, uh, you've done it. So the last thing you, uh, I was going to show you is the game settings and multi-man. So, which is in when you run a certain game, it gives you a black screen. So, um, what you want to do is go back to the game that gives you the black screen and hit square. Now, um, first thing you want to do is enable BD Mirror. Now, in this case, the Bejeweled is installed in the internal hard drive, so go ahead and enable internal. And if you see USB here, then they'll be under external and not internal. Now after all of that, you want to hit uh, permissions. Okay. Now also you would want to do is um, always leave a Blu-ray game in the drive. Just leave it because some games do require a game in there. So yeah, so it doesn't matter what game, just leave it in there. Now hit X. Jewel. So go ahead and like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.